We are rolling and welcome to the Winco Fall 2021 vlog. I'm Dave Gucci Guccione and this is my caller. Well, good morning, everyone. Hope everyone had a great Labor Day holiday and we're kind of back to the grindstone. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for NFA. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, China. You know, China, as you well know, shut down for a couple of months for the heat break in, in Hunan Providence. Um, they are, are coming back to work um, somewhat slowly, but it seems like they've they're, they had a lot of things in process before. So we feel good about that. So I think we're going to see a lot of production come out of Hunan in the next two or three months. Of course, the issue is always going to be getting the shipping space. Um, the shipping space still seems to be very limited out of Shanghai. Um, we're, you know, we get some, but we're not getting near what we need and, and what we anticipate will be ready. So we're pretty nervous about uh, the, the fall season, to be quite honest with you. Um, as a company, we're going to focus on, on taking care of this, the, the people in Texas and Louisiana that, you know, that truly have a, 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 a you know, New Year's season. Um, sp speaking of Louisiana, um, we've had a lot of people call us, and we appreciate that very much. We, we have three locations in Louisiana, two stores in Slidell, Louisiana, and we have our, one of our big warehouses in Ponchatoula, right outside. You know, it's basically the same as Hammond, Louisiana. Kind of took a direct hit down Right, there. they took a direct hit. And um, so we've got some damage. Uh, all our people are safe. That's the good news. Um, and we're dealing with it. Um, some of our employees have power, some don't. Um, so, uh, you know, we're, we're just we're giving a lot of support from here. We've, we've uh, sent some supplies, generators and things like that from Kansas City. And um, just just ask that you keep them in their th your thoughts. But overall, we're very happy because everybody's safe and, and uh, we think we'll be full, full operational in time for the New Year season down there. The good news was I think they got power on at the warehouse yesterday. So, yes, they do have power, um, power there. So that's going to help. So hopefully it stays on. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, moving forward there. Um, you know, Bay High has got me some concern. You know, they don't sh shut down for the heat, um, which is always gives them a chance to get ahead of, of uh, Hunan Providence. But right now, they're having a big problem shipping. Um, ONE, a lot of us call it one shipping line, is basically the only one they can do right now. Um, as you might remember, the they, they take it on a feeder to Hong Kong and then at least from Hong Kong and comes to Long Beach. They're really struggling. They want to. Uh, transload everything. The expense is very expensive, <laughs> and we're um, we obviously can't do that right now. It's just it's just too much money. I know they're working hard to get that problem fixed, but right now we've got some concerns about Bay High um, um, and, and, and Brothers Product, you know, fortunately or unfortunately. And so. they would really stress the situation in Shanghai if if Bay High Product had to go through Shanghai. <laughs> There's no room. You, you cannot take it through. There's just not enough space. So. Um, I don't see that happening if it did. If they were able to let them do that, it'd be very limited. Um, but, you know, th there's a lot of product that's going to be being produced in Hunan to be shipped out. So um, it, I don't know if they'll see that at all. If they do, it'll be very limited um, just get, because, once again, they have the space problem. So, you know, I, I just think as we go forward, we all have to be, be aware that we're going to have another tight season. Um, and, 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 you know, maybe things will loosen up after the first year and we get a lot of product in here for the, for the 4th of July season. But right now, we just don't know. And um, so we're, you know, we've got our price list out out of our warehouse in Grandview. Once again, it's, we're focusing on the southern uh, customers. Just since we put our price list out, the freight to Kansas City has gone up another $3,000. We're going to absorb that for now, but going forward, if it comes goes up again, then we're probably going to, have to come up with another price list. Um, I, I think you're going to see some of the wholesalers out there have two, three, maybe four price lists between now and the Fourth of July. Who knows for sure? Um, and and we're not going to say one way or the other. We're just going to do the best we can. We can't, you know, we have to pass on most of the cost to you guys, but we realize a lot of cases we're we're absorbing them for this. And for instance, this year the freight went up twice. Uh, from the time we come up their price list in March till the time in you know in the fourth, and we got a lot of product come in at a lot higher freight. But Winco, we we absorbed that, um, so we're not you know contrary to some beliefs, we're not passing on every cost. In a lot of cases, 
we're um, we're absorbing that and then there's other fees that don't, you know you don't even see that we just have to absorb that's just part of the deal so um we're trying to be as fair as possible to everyone like we always are with our customers and and be honest with you that's the key just tell you what's going on um so that you have a better understanding where we're coming from it's just very unpredictable times right now like it has been in the past geez 18 months with COVID and everything and we just don't unfortunately have any clear path of information that's going to make us feel different than we take it a day at a time basically right now exactly so i have a couple of things i want to discuss that uh, one thing we're not going to be at the nfa and it's a big disappointment for us but there's a reason why it's difficult for me i'm sitting on a lot of leads when i talk about a lot of leads i'm sitting on hundreds of leads and maybe possibly more than that and it's very difficult for me to reach out and talk to a potential customer of winko fireworks whether grant be our grandview warehouse or one of our satellite warehouses and say you know what i really love to do business with you call me back in february and and uh, I felt that our time would be better spent here working with our existing customers and trying to do the best we can for them currently right now. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody at future NFAs. I think we're just taking a pass this time around. And um, we wish everybody the best of luck at NFA this coming week. Um, once again, I mentioned leads. We are we have a lot of leads. And unfortunately, we have not been able to get back to everybody directly. We eventually will. But I want to get back to you with a specific answer instead of, hey, we're currently not taking leads right now. So uh, be patient. We will return um, your emails and respond with a salesperson responding, not just uh, a canned email from me and uh, letting you know that we will be possibly taking on some new customers in the spring. It's all going to depend on what the product flow looks like uh, in the future. Right, Mike? So exactly. And then, uh, once again, I think going back to uh, what Mike mentioned here for the fall, currently right now, we're holding tight with our current customers who have a legitimate season at New Year's. Um, if you're trying to get ahead for 2022 um, with your inventory, which I don't blame any of you trying to get ahead for 2022 with all of the inventory issues right now, we're going to have to probably put that order aside and work just with people who we know have an actual season right now. Year-round stores, um, our regular customers are year-round stores and and uh, in Christmas business and New Year's business, absolutely. We Winco is open for business with you and we're looking forward to uh, supplying with what we can do, you know, with what we have in stock. So, Mike, anything else you can think of? Well, uh, in this upcoming weekend, it's, it's a 20-year anniversary of 9-11. You know, we we're talking about how much unknown we know right now in the fireworks business. Just think about 20 years ago when we had no clue what was going on in the whole world, but, but especially in the United States. So I hope everybody's remembering 9-11. And, and um, I, I've been watching a lot of specials myself on yeah, TV. And it's just, it's just, you just can't quit watching it. It's just, it's incredible. And some of the stories you hear are such brave firemen and, and all kinds of first responders. It's just, it's just amazing. So anyway, we'll be thinking about 9-11 in the next few weeks, especially, and, and especially this week. Weekend. And the folks down in Louisiana and on the East Coast, too, that were affected by Ida also. So, all right, everybody. What do you think, right, Mike? That's it. We're going to wrap all it right. up. All right. You, everybody, everybody, have a, everybody have a great NFA, and we will talk to you real soon. When we have any sort of update, we'll be back at you, okay? Thanks a lot. Have a great day.